Hey guys, Spreader here, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are back with our Rags to Riches Hardcore series here at Somerset Farms. Just um, left Mike's house, 7am, start of a new day. Um, have had a bit of a chat to Mike about his property here. He said he's willing to sell to us if we pay him the right amount of money. Um, the money he's asking up here is for 113000 and that doesn't even include any of these fields that he owns. It's only just... Um, the pig pen up here, so we have to obviously spend a little bit more money to get some more stuff, but that includes the, the house, which he's going to continue to live in, and the sheds here. Um, got the pig manure spot here, we've got the pig area here, and I believe there's a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of grass and stuff around here, I guess. Um, yeah, this area here, there's a bit of grass that we can potentially mow. Or, you know, turn into a field. It's got some trees in the way, but we're going to have to, I don't know, maybe cut them out if we need to. Just to turn it into a proper field or something like that. Um, that's a potential spot we have. So, i sort of been having a look at jobs, and there's not much going at the moment. There's one cultivating, two sowing. Um, that's, you know, a decent amount of money there. $10,000. 0.88 of a hectare, but uh, what field is that? Field 28, which is just down here, so there, so that is huge, so we're definitely not doing that, that's going to take us way too long. So I think the sowing and cultivating contracts we can take care of, um, at the moment, they're not paying a great deal, um, that's only going to be, you know, 100 and something dollars for this one, sowing, still going to be $90, so that's not too bad, so we'll take that, um, Take the cultivating one as well, it can't hurt, but you can see we've only got $4,974, we don't have much money at all, so we're a long way away, um, I've been looking at potential tractors and stuff that we can purchase in a local area, so we've got the Valmet 68 series, um, which obviously got some issues with being in the ground, probably not like that when we actually get it, that one's a little bit different. A lot of changes that can be made there. So they're only 85, 65 horsepower. Um, look at a few of these guys. So they're still expensive and they're not a great deal of horsepower. We need something that's going to have at least um, over 100 horsepower, I think, depending on what sort of stuff we go for. So there's a tractor here, 25 horsepower. We could actually afford one of those straight away. This guy, 4,200. Um, this guy doesn't actually tell us anything about the power of this guy. Um, Zetor, another Zetor as well, another one. That's pretty good, four and a half grand. Must be a really old tractor. Um, can actually afford that guy, which isn't too bad. Um, I think that's definitely, definitely an option for us. It really is. It is pretty. Old. Standard. No mud guard. Old. That's really old. <laughs> that does actually look pretty cool. So standard wheel weights. Ooh, silage wheels. They're pretty cool. Standard. See, four and a half thousand. We can actually buy that. Which I think we will do. Let's buy that. Why not? Um, we need to look at... Uh, what's that for? A cultivator. There's 95 horsepower, some auger wagons, another cultivator, another cultivator, another cultivator. We've got fertilizer spreader, fertilizer spreader. We've got a cedar here, which isn't too bad, three and a half meters. Um, a planter, fertilizer spreader, some more spreaders, another cedar as well. Some quite expensive cedars there too. Um, Flowers, I've only got the 13,000 cultivator. I haven't found any new ones in the area just yet. I do know there's some I need to have a look out for. Um, so really can't afford any of our own equipment yet either, but you know we have a tractor now, so that's a good start. Um, anything in here? Um, not really. All right, let's head down to the shop and check out 
Um, actually, I think I did the wrong thing with those contracts, didn't I? I think I took them instead of hiring the equipment. Oh no. Alright, what we're going to have to do is cancel those, which is going to hurt us with the local community, I think. But we can have a look at our tractor anyway. So the Zetor 78601 134 starts up alright. It's pretty slow. Very, very old. Rusty looking thing. Quite loud too, but we can get this back to the farm. Um, and we're just going to have to keep an eye out for more jobs now. Like $473. We don't have enough money to be able to purchase anything at the moment. Should be able to duck out in front of this guy. Hopefully we're um, not as slow as him. About the same speed, I guess. I think we're going to go all the way up. Yeah, keep following this all the way up past the animal dealer. Head on through. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that last episode. Um, what I might do is times our speed by time 60. And at the end of every hour, I'm going to check and see if there's any jobs that have popped up. Um, that was pretty silly of me. I pressed accept contract instead of borrow items, so that has really cost us two jobs there, which isn't a great deal of money, but yeah, we've only managed to earn four and a half green. We managed to find our first tractor, which is pretty rough. I think long term we'd like to get this thing into a better state so we can, you know, try and find the front end for it, get the engine covers on it, and all that sort of stuff, just to make it look more legitimate. It's pretty pretty rough as it sits at the moment, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Alright, check for jobs. No more jobs. Let's do it at the time's 120 and we'll see if anything else pops up. Alright, I like those tractor signs there too, actually. Um, here's a road to the left. We don't want to take this one. I did take this one during our um, time lapse went in there and had to come all the way back out again. So we can't even really afford a chainsaw, we can't afford a trailer, we can't afford anything, we can't even afford any land or anything just to cut down a few trees. I really can't afford to do anything at the moment. Alright, so uh, wrong way again. We'll head back and we'll throw this guy up in the, in the shed. Still no new contracts just yet, so people don't really need help at the moment, which is a little bit frustrating. We need we need all the jobs we can get to start making some money. So I'd like to be able to use our tractor as much as possible, but we can't afford a cultivator, we can't afford a plough, we can't afford a seed or anything just yet, so I'm going to have to Keep an eye out, let Mike know what we need next time he goes into town, have a bit of a chat with the local farmers and let them know what we need and hopefully he can um, help us out and find us some new equipment, that would be really cool. Alright, so I'll put this guy away, boom, there we go, there's our new tractor, still no jo jobs, wow. Ah, oh, it's frustrating. Anyway, let's take a screenshot of this. She's pretty rusty, she's pretty old, but she got us home safely. Hopefully, she's going to get us some stuff. Make us some money. Alright, so if we look at the map, there's really not a lot going on at the moment around here at all. Um, um, cultivated growing, uh, withered, so there's some fields here that are going to need some work, we're just, people aren't offering us jobs just yet, so what I'll do is I'll save the game, I'll jump out, I'll come back and see if any new contracts pop up, so don't go anywhere, we'll be back very, very soon. Right there guys, we're back, so I'm going to take a few jobs I think, I've just had a quick look, there's a few available, so we've got fertilizing field 46, which is a decent amount of money for here, which is 46 is just here, so it's massive, massive field, but 
should be pretty quick with this. So let's borrow the items for that. Uh, fertilize field five. We'll accept that contract because we can use that equipment. Now sowing and cultivating. Um, field thirty two. Field two. So field thirty two cultivating is not a great deal of money. Field two. 2270 is not a great deal of money either. Um, what I've just realised as well is we don't have any money to buy fertiliser. Is there somewhere we can buy fertiliser? Um, just a fuel. I don't think there is. Um, wow. Okay. How much is our fertiliser? Gonna need liquid. Oh, 3200. Wow. Um, okay. The job. We need to make 3200 bucks. Oh, I don't know how we're gonna do that. Cultivating field 32. Sowing field 2. Let's do that. It's right here. Um, I should even have enough money for seeding for seeds either. So that's another thing that we didn't think of. 1890. Um, Alright. We're going to have to sell our tractor. Uh, as much as I don't want to, let's buy a fertiliser tank. We can rebuy it again. We didn't lose any money, which is good, thank God. But we've had to sell that so we can buy some fertiliser. Hopefully we've got enough fertiliser in this to get these fields done. Uh, field 5 and field 46. Field 5 is just here. Um, yeah, so that should be pretty quick to get done, field 5, just here. So we can get that done, um, clear that, get a little bit more money in our account. Um, I really didn't think of that, did I? I really didn't. Ah. Uh, it's better than having to take out a loan, which is one of our challenges. We can't take out a loan, so we're going to have to take that tractor back to Mike's friend and tell him that it wasn't suitable right now, but we definitely would like to buy it later, again, maybe. That's a little bit, a little bit frustrating for me. It's probably frustrating for him too, to be honest. Uh, this might be too big to fit around that tree over there. I'll have to wait and, see. We'll wait and see. Trees on either side, this is going to be interesting. Um, right, let's go. Try and... Ah, oh, I didn't bloody fill the thing up. Right, let's grab this. Um, let's use our big muscles. Throw it over the fence. It really helps if you fill things up first. This has been oh, a bit of a comedy this episode, hasn't it? Hasn't been overly great. Uh, $1,200 though, which isn't too bad, which will give us enough to buy some seeds. Um, certainly what I want to do is if we do have any fertilizer or anything left over, we want to make sure we empty it. We don't want to return the equipment with fertilizer and or seeds. Oh, this thing's crazy. Um, with seeds or anything in it, because that's just a loss of money then. If we can at least get the things out, um, that'll you know, sort of give us some money. Right, let's start this up. I want to set ourselves 180 degrees. Let's get this field sprayed. Should definitely have enough for this one. Then field 46 is our next one. Need to try and minimise wastage, as I said. Uh, all right, stop there. Don't want to use too much, but we need to. Once you get this done, then we can buy seeds, we can go and plant field 2, fertilise the other field up the top. Fingers crossed we don't run out of fertiliser. 
So we need to make sure, as soon as it says the job's done, we stop spraying. So we don't want to waste anything at all. Shouldn't be far away. Alright, stop there. We're going to have to turn around. Maybe just back back into that corner, try and spray that little bit that's there. Is that enough? Not quite. Oh, 98%. But I might have to do the same thing here because I don't want to go driving sideways and spraying because it's just wasting a lot of our fertiliser then. There we go, done. Contract 5, done. 46 is where. Big one right up near our home, so. Let's um, start to head that way. It's going to be a decent amount of money as far as income goes, but it's going to take us forever to get it done. Probably not as, not as long as you would think, I suppose. So I think at this point in time, um, what we should be looking at is obviously our tractor, but then a fertilizer spreader. Um, so at 9 meters, 18 meters. So this one, it's one we can possibly look at because um, there's going to be a lot of fields now since they've started to get seeded. They're going to want to have fertilization on them, so that's where we're going to start making our money, I think. Um, I've managed to get a hold of Mike again, he's obviously sold that tractor back to his friend, returned it, he gave us a 24 hour warranty, 24 hour return policy. Um, spoke to Mike, he's said he's got some contacts with some new plough, well not new ploughs but old ploughs, um, cultivators and seeders, so there's some around that we didn't find before, some that are available that we can take a look at when the time comes we actually have the money to be able to buy something but you know, using this John Deere tractor is really really spoiling us considering the tractor that we're going to have to buy probably just going to have to buy that back um, and try and explain to Mike's friend the reason why we sold it it's because we well, the reason why we gave it back is because we decided that we would um You know, decide to buy it a little bit too quick. Um, stuck on the hedge now. Um, Alright, unfold it again. I need to get back as far as I can. Reversing the other way would be a good start. Back as far as we can. Uh, like this, let's go spray. Let's head up the field and let's see how much we can actually get done. Hopefully we can get this whole field done. Then we can actually unload our fertilizer back over here. Store it away in one of Mike's sheds until we need it for our own sprayer. Um, I think he did say there was some fertilizer spreaders as well. So there's one there, only 300 litres, 1650s, that's probably a good one. Uh, 400 litres, I think the, the Vicon. Does, there is an added extension, a um, lot of other added things to be honest. Um, we'll have to have a look at that in a bit more detail later on I suppose, but there's going to be plenty of fields around here as I said that have been um, seed, like seeded, planted, but haven't been fertilised yet. This one hasn't. A few of these other ones are going to need fertilization again. Those ones haven't been planted yet, so... I'm hoping there's going to be plenty of jobs available soon for us to be able to make some really good money, I'm hoping. Especially these fertilization jobs. Now they're reasonably quick to do. But they make a decent amount of money, but... As I said, I think the fertilizer sprayer here 
That was 20 kilometers an hour. This one here does 12, so it's much, much slower doing it this way. Um, and it's more expensive too, from what we remember. 3,200 for fertilizer. Oop. And 1920 for a bag, which is only half the liters, but it goes a lot further. It really does. So that's going to help us to be able to get some more jobs done a lot quicker, I think, especially this time of year. As I said, if you look at our Seasons mod, our Seasons menu, this is where we're all planting, all through here. Everyone's planting at the moment, and they'll be planting again here, so there's plenty of seeding jobs, uh, field preparation jobs, of course, like cultivating or ploughing, and then there's also going to be ongoing fertilisation work as well. So I really think getting our tractor back again, um, and getting a, say, fertiliser spreader is probably going to be the, whoop, the best thing to go with. Just to help us bring in that money really quickly. Right, how are we going? 50%. We should have enough in our sprayer to get this job done, I hope. Right, I'm going to run this length of the field just because it it's going to help us get it done quicker I think if we do the, the longer length first alright so try and maximise our coverage try not to waste too much we're not going to have a great deal of fertiliser left over um, but it's still going to be hopefully a bonus to us we can't actually go and sell our leftover fertiliser anymore either so Whatever we use, we need to keep. There's no other new jobs coming. There's this cultivator job, which we can potentially do ourselves. Um, we'll see if the cultivators have come through yet. They have, I think. Yep, so $1,200 for this guy, which is 6 meters, and this guy's 1500 for 3 meters. So I think we'll definitely go with the old school Brony 5. Um, will be the one I go with, I think, because that's more bang for the buck, I suppose. We'll be able to get cultivating jobs done as well. Not a lot of money, but it's still money in our pocket. We don't have a lot of money, as you can see. $3,000. Just hoping we can get through this year okay and make a little bit of money um, to be able to hopefully start to progress a bit more next year. It's going to be quite slow, I think. Slow progression. So seeding of field 2 is our next one. So we'll get this field done. And then I might go into a little little time lapse for our seeding. Um, and that might pretty much bring us... I have it at times 5. Bring us to the end of the episode, I think. Um, the end of day 2. Potentially. Just need to keep an eye on those jobs again and... See if anything else sort of pops up. I don't know if there's any weed spraying jobs either with seasons. Um, I guess we're just going to have to wait and find out. Right, this should nearly be finished. So let's go the other way. Back right back into that corner. Oh, this is all over the place, this thing. I shouldn't blame it. I should blame me, really. Oh, I know where I want to go. I just can't go there. Let's see if this helps. Not really. Right, now see if I can get into the corner where I want to be. There we go, that helps. Yes, I know, we're doing contract work. I know that field doesn't even count, which is really weird. So we're not going to end up with a lot left over. But we had enough to get the two jobs done, so... Really can't complain. Potentially could have used a smaller spreader. Um, and used solid fertiliser, you might have had a little bit more left over, but... This guy is just so much wider. 
makes much shorter work of the job. So is there a road? Not no road there, so we'll have to finish this off, go and unload it. On oh, 97%, we're nearly there. Might end up with 600 litres left if we're lucky. There we go. Done. Reimburse $763. Must be for the the amount of um, fertilizer we used, possibly. So as I said, I'll turn around and oh, I'll throw this guy up through here. We can empty this guy out. I think yes, we can unload it. Good. That's all we want to know. Throw it in one of these sheds over here. Right, unload. There we go. There we go. Collect. Done. Perfect. All right, pick this guy up. We can throw it in the back corner there. Awesome. Now let's go. Next job. So we can pretty much buy our tractor back now and then also, or maybe. Gotta buy some seeds, don't we? Alright, let's go. Bag of seeds. Yeah, not too bad. Alright, let's open this top up. We need to work out what the actually what's planted in there. Ah, barley. Okay, there we go. So if we come into here now and go. I think, so I think we want, the next thing we want to do is, a, I'm not going to buy it now, because no one may I'll buy the wrong thing. I think fertiliser is what we probably should buy next, but I won't buy it yet, we'll wait. But so, right out guys, I'll get this done in a time lapse. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far. And if you want to see it continue, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.